Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Anger Management for Dummies, a creation by Charles H. Eliot and Laura L. Smith. Anger Management for Dummies, 2015, is a practical manual for managing your inner anger. In these summaries, you will acquire the necessary resources to comprehend and, most importantly, overcome your anger. You will discover techniques to alleviate stress, address provocation, and swiftly halt temper outbursts. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Charles H. Eliot, PhD, is an experienced clinical psychologist, a founding fellow of the Academy of Cognitive Therapy and a professor emeritus at Fielding Graduate University. He specializes in providing therapy for individuals with emotional disorders. Laura L. Smith, PhD, is an esteemed psychologist, both in the field of education and clinical practice. She currently serves as the president of the New Mexico Psychological Association. Laura has presented workshops on topics including cognitive therapy and mental health to both national and international audiences. Together, Charles and Laura have collaborated on multiple books for the Dummies series. Their latest work is Anger Management for Dummies, published in 2015 by John Wiley and Sons Inc., with permission exclusively granted to authorized parties. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on StoryPlanet.net. To start, learn how to manage and control your anger by taking charge of your emotions. Discover the benefits of being in control, such as healthier relationships and reduced stress levels. This text is saying that if you struggle with anger and feel that it controls you, there are strategies to help you manage it. You can learn to avoid triggers, understand that your thoughts about a situation determine your reaction, and learn techniques to handle anger in different situations. This includes talking to teenagers without getting angry, using physical balance as a mindfulness technique, and recognizing signs that you're about to lose your temper. Key idea number one. Anger can be positive or negative depending on how it is utilized. Anger can cause damage if not controlled, leading to harmful actions and strained relationships. It can also negatively impact one's health, leading to ulcers and high blood pressure. However, if harnessed properly, anger can fuel constructive pursuits and lead to positive change, as seen with Nelson Mandela. Use anger to make a positive difference in the world. Key idea number two. To effectively manage anger, it is important to recognize the early signs of anger and employ calming strategies. Controlling anger starts with recognizing the physical cues that precede it, such as faster breathing and tensing up. Once identified, you can wait it out by reminding yourself that it will only last a short time. To distract yourself, focus on something else and change your breathing. Look for the positive aspects of the situation and see mistakes as opportunities for self-acceptance. Remember, you are responsible for your own feelings, regardless of how others or the world treats you. Key idea number three, the act of brooding nourishes anger, but there are ways to manage and regulate it. Daily annoyances and mishaps can lead to brooding and anger. To control brooding, set aside 15 minutes each day to think about and write down what's bothering you. Outside of this time, postpone obsessive thoughts. Engage in pleasurable activities to distract from negative thoughts, such as strolling through a museum or visualizing shooting negative thoughts into the sky. Key idea number four. This text suggests that by learning how to handle provocations and address past pain, one can reduce anger in their life. When faced with someone trying to pick a fight, it's important to remember that you have a choice in how you respond. You don't have to engage or retaliate. Acknowledge the other person's feelings without getting defensive. In cases where past wounds exacerbate your anger, it's essential to address those painful memories and find ways to reconcile them. Key idea number five. Stress can be harmful to your health, but you can manage it by changing your mindset. Anger outbursts are often caused by stress, 
either major stressors, like losing a job, or minor stressors, like deadlines or a disruptive work environment. Both types can have significant impacts on health, including raising blood pressure, causing depression, and exacerbating long-term diseases. It is important to control and manage stress by changing our outlook, viewing stresses as challenges rather than catastrophes, and finding solutions to potential problems. Failure to handle daily stress can have negative consequences in the long run. Key idea number six, sleep, physical exercise, and gratitude have a positive impact on well-being, helping to reduce angry feelings. Sleep deprivation can increase irritability and lead to angry outbursts in adults. To improve sleep quality, avoid caffeine and nicotine after dinner, don't eat late at night, and put away smartphones before bed. Regular exercise helps improve sleep and reduces anger. Practicing gratitude by focusing on the things you have can make you happier and less prone to anger. Start each day by mentally listing things you're grateful for. In conclusion, controlling anger is important as it can easily take over if left unchecked. Simple techniques involve being mindful of thoughts and adjusting daily habits. Taking things more slowly and not rushing can help relax and enjoy the ride, making it harder to be angry. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.